Can you explain what it is the difference between romantic love and unconditioned love? Are there feelings in both? Unconditioned love is who you are. Romantic love is normally dependent on the way the other person is. So unconditioned love is this. Unconditioned love is who you are because it accepts everything beyond the human's capacity to accept. It accepts everything the human does. It is who you are. It's this emptiness, it's this consciousness that never judges anything. So right now, there is a consciousness of this chair, there's a consciousness of this wall, or perception of this wall and the chair and me. You might be having judgments towards me, but in the background of that, there is this wall in which there is no judgment. It's just a perception happening. It's, and that's who you are, and that's unconditioned love. It also has a sense of love in it, this sense of existence, this sense of being. And that's unconditioned love. No matter what your partner does or looks like or behaves like or does, um, that unconditioned love loves and shines through no matter what. And the less that you're identified with the person, the more the person lines up with that. So the person has, so if there's a, a knowing of who you truly are and this expansion happens back into who you are, then the person lines up more in it is in it doesn't hold on to things so much. So it's just letting go, letting go. The person is less interested in what it can or can't get from something. Romantic love is about you. You. So romantic love is um, about you. Um, having someone and you liking someone and there's nothing wrong with a romantic love like I'm not suggesting that we all just go out with somebody that we're not attracted to or don't find funny um, romantic love is specific on the human level so you're not attracted to your dog hopefully you're you're attracted to um, or to the llama your next door neighbor's llama hopefully um, you're attracted to someone maybe your own age because you've got a lot in common, somebody in which you have the same humor, somebody in which your personalities get on together, you have the same ideals, you have the same interests, and physically, which I think is to do with smell, um, you you guys meet together as well. And that's that's obviously based on based on the person. That's a personal thing. Um, but when you believe that freedom is in that person. So freedom being the empty looking, the consciousness. So when you think that that person is going to give you happiness, that is going to lead to disaster because they are going to disappoint you or you're going to disappoint them. And that's that. So best if you, um, you know, find somebody that's uh, enlightened and then you can never disappoint them. Just momentarily, uh, you like, you do, you know, you mess up the house and then momentarily they're disappointed and then they've forgotten, they're over it. They're not keeping a scoreboard. It's disappointed me then, it's disappointed me then, and then, 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 then. That's what often people do, is they keep a scoreboard. <laughs> Always with the tongue out, you see. Um, I'm just being a bit sarcastic. I don't know why I get like this. I do apologise. It just comes out, you see. But I, uh, I, um, I presume it's um, put in spiritual terms. It's God. Wanting there to be a bit more humour in the dry non-duality that can be talked about, or this very religious, like, I do I do like some parts of religion and romantic stuff, but this very um, religious side, or this very dry side, or very intellectual side, it wants a different way of it being expressed, where there's a, a lot of mocking of it. Or not mocking of non-duality, but mocking of the person, maybe. But it's not personal. There's not anyone that I have in mind when I'm saying it. I'm just talking generally. 
about the whole of human population and some animals maybe. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry, I'm such a banana. My humour is very abstract as well. I put a poem out on Facebook yesterday and I realised that most people um, weren't into that type of stuff. And I like really abstract poetry or art or um, videos that, that, yeah, comedy. I remember once watching this Dutch comedian that talked about um, Oh yeah, no, it's too abstract to tell you. If you're Dutch, uh, I've forgotten his name as well. But he was so abstract, I found him so funny. Um, so those are the differences between romantic love and unconditioned love. 